please tell us, because you have quite a pedigree, how you transitioned and what you transitioned from from making videos for the big for the for the biggies to really helping individuals make their own videos. I've had many lives in New York. <laughs> I was a dancer and a choreographer first. That's how I ended up in New York. Where did you come from? I came well, from Canada. So and then I went to North Carolina School of the Arts and then I came to New York. So yeah, wow. I've had a lot of different lives. And then at one point I was like, oh my God, I need to find a real job. So then I found my way into production company. And that's where I learned a lot of my skills. And then I found myself at Martha Stewart for yes. eight years, which I think is bravo. That is very good. And what were you doing at Martha Stewart? I was the online video producer. So I would wow. take the daily show and then edit it so it was internet friendly. Was it super time sensitive to get those daily shows? How was that process in yeah. terms of getting that show on, online? Yeah, it was had to be up at the end of the day. And then they also had uh, Mad Hungry and another Everyday Food. So there was like, one point there was three shows on the air. So I spent a lot of hours, late hours, just trying to, you know, because I was the only one at the time, because we were a little bit, not to say behind in the video world, but they hadn't started really knowing what has to go up and like how to make it web friendly so people don't have to watch a whole show. Yes. So it was very time consuming, but I love editing. So that was the fun part. Oh, love editing. Yeah, that, that's that's yeah. an anomaly. I love. Yeah. I like to hear that's good. Yeah. That's good. I like to shoot, but editing's my I'll say my sweet spot. 